Hello friends, welcome back to Bagaskara Labs. Today, imagine you're building a secure application inside AWS. You've placed your EC2 instance in a private subnet, isolated from the internet. No public IP, no internet gateway, and no bastion host. It's safe, but now comes the problem. How do you actually connect to it for administration, troubleshooting, or configuration? Normally, you might consider deploying a bastion host or using Systems Manager, but these add complexity, cost, or require additional setup. This is where AWS gives us a clever solution, EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint. With this, we can connect directly to our private EC2 using only its private IP without exposing it to the internet. In this video, we'll go step by step to build it, and at the end, you'll be able to connect securely to your private EC2 instance all from the AWS console. Let's dive into the specific scenario. We have an EC2 instance placed in a private subnet. By design, it has no public IP, so it can't be accessed from the internet, no internet gateway, keeping the subnet isolated, no bastion host, avoiding extra cost and attack surface. Yet, as administrators, we still need a secure way to connect for tasks like updates, troubleshooting, or configuration. The challenge is clear. How can we maintain network security while still having reliable access to our EC2 instance? The solution is EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint. With this feature, we can connect directly using the private IP of the EC2 instance. There's no need for a public IP, internet gateway, or bastion host. It's secure and cost-effective because the traffic stays inside the AWS network. From the AWS console, connecting is simple. Open EC2 Instance Connect, select the endpoint, and connect to the private EC2. Behind the scenes, AWS handles the secure communication inside the VPC. No internet exposure, no extra infrastructure. Here's our step-by-step -step workflow for this setup. Create VPC, our private network foundation. Create subnet and route table. Define where our EC2 will live and ensure proper routing inside the VPC. Launch EC2 private only. EC2 instance without a public IP attached to the subnet. Create VPC endpoint, EC2 instance connect endpoint that enables private connectivity. Connect to EC2. Use EC2 Instance Connect from the AWS console to securely access the instance via its private IP. Following these steps, you'll have a fully private EC2 instance that you can manage securely without exposing it to the internet. Our first step is to create the VPC, the foundation of our private network. This VPC is completely isolated from the internet, so everything we deploy inside it will be secure. The CIDR block we assign, 10.0.0.0 slash 16, defines the range of IP addresses available for our subnets, EC2 instances, and other resources. Once we create the VPC, all the resources in this tutorial will live safely inside it. Next, we create a subnet inside our VPC. Think of the subnet as a smaller network inside our private network. This is where our EC2 instances will reside. Along with the subnet, we create a route table 
to control traffic flow inside the VPC. This ensures that our private EC2 instances can communicate securely with other resources in the network while staying isolated from the internet. By setting up the subnet and route table now, we prepare the environment for our private EC2 instances and the Instance Connect endpoint. Now we launch our EC2 instance inside the private subnet. This instance will not have a public IP, meaning it's fully isolated from the internet. We attach a security group that allows SSH access only from within the VPC. This ensures that our EC2 instance can't be accessed from outside, maintaining a high level of security. At this point, the instance is ready for private access using our EC2 Instance Connect endpoint in the following steps. Now, we create the EC2 instance connect endpoint. This is the key component that allows us to connect securely to our private EC2 instance without exposing it to the internet. The endpoint acts as a bridge inside the VPC, enabling SSH connections using only private IP addresses. Because it's managed by AWS, it's secure and easy to set up and it eliminates the need for a bastion host or internet gateway. Once the endpoint is ready, our private EC2 instance becomes reachable from the console while staying fully isolated from external networks. Here's how we do it. In the EC2 console, go to EC2 Connect, EC2 Instance Connect, connect using a private IP. Since no endpoint exists yet, we select Create an Endpoint.
This takes us into the VPC Endpoint Creation menu. Here, we first give the endpoint a name so it's easy to identify later. Next, we choose the type, EC2 Instance Connect Endpoint, then select our VPC. For security, we attach either the default security group or one that explicitly allows SSH access from within the VPC. Finally, we pick the subnet in the same availability zone as our EC2 instance. Once everything is set, we click Create Endpoint. AWS begins provisioning it, and we just wait until the status changes to Available. At that point, our private EC2 is now securely reachable through this new endpoint without ever touching the public internet. With the endpoint now in place, return to the EC2 console. Refresh the EC2 Instance Connect endpoint list so the new endpoint appears. Next, select the VPC endpoint that we just created. Finally, click Connect and AWS establishes a secure session directly to our private EC2 instance using only its private IP. This proves our setup works. No public internet, no bastion host, just a clean, secure connection inside our VPC. That's it! With the endpoint in place, we've successfully connected to our private EC2 instance using only its private IP. No public internet exposure, no bastion host, and no internet gateway. Just a clean, secure session inside our VPC. We started from scratch, creating a VPC, setting up a private subnet, launching an EC2 instance, creating the EC2 Instance Connect endpoint, and finally connecting securely. This simple yet powerful workflow gives you a reliable way to manage and troubleshoot private resources without ever opening them to the outside world. I hope this step-by-step -step guide was helpful for you. If you enjoyed the walkthrough, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to support Bascara Labs. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next session.